How's it going everyone? Today I got a new tutorial dealing with auras and area of effect uh, abilities that you can add to the new workshop system in Overwatch. So with this particular example that I'll walk you through today is giving your players a speed boost and healing effect when they're inside your aura that is following you around, and when they're outside of the aura, it slows them down and starts to damage them over time, doing the opposite. So right now, they go normal speed and get, say, 30 healing per second when they're inside of the aura, but if I try and get outside of this aura, uh, you can see the Zarya slowed down massively and taking damage instead. Um, also, the aura will follow you around, so if you're interested in learning about this, stay tuned. I'm going to hop into the editor here, and I'm going to walk you through my three simple rules that will get this effect. And this will teach you how to add an effect to any of your teammates uh, using certain conditions. So, the first thing I have is this is just the effect. Um, this is creating that aura around the Reinhardt, and this doesn't do anything, this is just for show. But we do also set a global variable A, which will be the radius of the aura, which we will use in our later scripts. Uh, for creating the effect, all you need to do is um, make it visible um, to either all players, or you could even go team of event player, and that makes sure it's just that team, type ring, position of um, the hero playing Reinhardt on the team. So uh, position of players on hero Reinhardt. Um, so that's good. You might want to change this to team of as well, but that's fine. Um, so the way that the script is set up is that each player is checking to see if they are close to a Reinhardt on their team and then making actions based on that. It's not like Reinhardt is running these actions. Each player is has their own instance. So for the next ones, you have to make sure that you're on ongoing each player because each player has to themselves check if they're close to Reinhardt. Um, speaking of which, here's our condition. If the distance between the event player, meaning say that Zarya, um, and the position of a hero playing Reinhardt on my team, if that all made sense. Um, if that's greater than our global area, global variable that we set before, which is, what was it? It was like 10, yeah, 10 meters or so, which is the same as that aura radius. Then we will set our movement speed of ourselves at Zarya to 50. Stop any healing over time. This is really important when you're trying to do both and flop back and forth. So anytime you set one thing, um, so you want two different states, one inside the aura and one outside the aura. You have to make sure that when you flop in between these, you turn off all the ones for the other condition and turn on all the ones for the one that you're currently in. So we have to stop healing and then start a damage over time. So this will be going to the event player, that Zarya once again. Um, damager, we could set this to be Reinhardt, but it's not really necessary. That's more for point scoring. And then set this to a maximum number of time because we'll turn it off anyway. And then 20 is good. Now, inside radius is basically the opposite. Um, if the distance between uh, ourselves and a Reinhardt is less than our global variable, uh, meaning we're on the inside of the circle, we can set our uh, speed to 100 again and stop any damage over times that we had from being outside of the radius and then add a healing over time. So it's just everything is the opposite. Um, and that's the basic effect. So this is basically using um, a condition where you, the Reinhardt isn't the controller of the actions, it's the each player testing to see if they're in the aura. So that, that's a pretty good way to do it. Um, that, that's all for this tutorial. If you have any ideas for videos or tutorials I should do, please leave them in the comment section below. If you have any questions, also leave them there. Don't forget to leave a subscribe and a like. It helps me out, um, knows that the videos are good. Um, but until next time, thanks for watching.